Chances are, if you've ever tried to document your travels with a camera, you've taken some cliche, if not really cheesy travel photos. I know I have. So in this video, I'll be giving you nine tips to take your travel portrait photography to the next level. Tip number one, no stiff smiles. We've all taken the awkward family photos with the big forced smiles, and they're really as uncomfortable as they are cliche. Now I'm not saying to look like the grumpy dad at Disney on your entire vacation, but loosen up a little bit. Try and tell a joke or make your subject laugh with natural conversation to get a more natural reaction. And this leads us right into tip number two. Don't look directly into the camera, especially with that big cheesy smile. Now I know everyone would rather be at the beach with a Mai Tai, but we are here for Aunt Gertrude's 102nd birthday, so let's try and make the best of it. Try to capture your subject looking at the architecture, or maybe the landscape, or whatever it is you are there to see. Show them truly enjoying the scene, not your camera lens. Our third tip is to pick a subject. One thing that travel photos suffer from is the lack of a subject. Before snapping that photo, pick your subject. Ask yourself, what is the focus of this photo? Whether it's little Timmy, a building, a landscape, or even a slice of Sparrow's pizza, have your person pose to emphasize either themselves or the subject. The angle of your camera and depth of field are powerful tools for emphasizing a subject in your photo, so use them. Let's dive a little bit deeper into this in tip number four. Interaction with your environment. Whether it's climbing stairs, leaning on a wall or a rail, or even just sitting on a bench. Now don't be an idiot and hop the fence of Buckingham Palace for TikTok clout, but the most boring photos in the world are here is a person standing in front of a thing. Get creative and try new things, just don't be that person that breaks the rules and ruins it for everyone. Tip number five, avoid crowds. Crowds and travel go together like holiday get-togethers and your creepy Uncle Sal. Nobody wants him there, but it's Thanksgiving and he's bringing the casserole. Avoiding crowds may mean waking up before the average tourist, walking that extra mile, or stumbling upon that hidden gem that no one really knows about. A trick to doing this is talking to locals if you really want to experience something that's off the beaten path. And this will open the door for so many new photos. For tip number six, let's talk about lighting. Golden hour at sunrise and sunset will likely be the best lighting in most cases, but it is different for each environment. Some places like Las Vegas, for example, truly come alive after the sun has gone down. Pay special attention to the light for truly dynamic images. For tip number seven, let's talk about composition. Now, in addition to your lighting, composition is a huge part of what makes any great photo memorable. How you choose to frame your image, the angle and the height of your camera will tell your audience exactly where to look in your photos. Always be thinking about the rule of thirds, symmetry, asymmetry, keeping your horizon level and not having distracting elements in your shot. Now you may find yourself laying on the ground to get that perfect shot, so suck it up buttercup because in photography, this is the kind of dedication that takes a photo from being just okay to being great. Tip number eight, capture candid moments. This is probably one of my favorite tips because of my journalism background. Not every shot needs to be posed. Capturing your subjects in a journalistic fashion as they explore the environment will lead to more natural feeling expressions and more genuine storytelling images of your travels. This may mean you have to take a lot of photos, so be prepared. And last but not least, tip number nine. This is kind of counterintuitive here, but put down the camera. I have trips that I hardly remember, aside from a couple photos stashed on a hard drive somewhere, because I had my camera up to my face the entire time. 
I completely missed out on the moments and the memories with friends and family because I was so worried about trying to capture them. And that Alanis Morissette is actual irony. Take the time to enjoy your surroundings and you'll realize that will actually lead to better imagery when you're not tunnel visioned through your viewfinder. So those are my nine tips for better travel portrait photography and taking your images on your travels to that next level because we all want to bitch in Instagram, right? So if you enjoyed at least one of these tips, be sure to hit that like button, drop me a comment down below, even if it's just to say hi, and don't forget to subscribe for more run and gun tips and tricks videos. And until next time, get out and go shoot.